going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Thank you for tuning in and thank you everyone who bought jet tags. I am beyond There's been something done in the shop. It looks a little different. Don't be scared <laughs> Let's go check it out. So if you guys remember at the last time Working on the RB we had to cut it a little short because we had to move the car and the motor because <gasps> There's a glass wall up for the fab room now Look how crazy this looks. And it's a party here. <laughs> it's not done yet. The shop is really coming together. Do you guys remember when we first moved in here? There was no lighting, the walls weren't painted, they just finished the floor, now there's lighting, and now there's a glass wall. The cars have moved in here, there are lifts in here. This is so cool to see the progress, and I'm glad that you guys get to see it too. So what we are going to be doing on the RB26 today is to finish where we left off when we had to move for the glass wall to be put in, and that is the N1 water pump, oil pump, and the timing belt. I do have this to show you guys. This is the RB25 that was actually out of Ars's Z when he was running that. He's now going to be moving to an RB26, but this is the perfect example to show you how the goal is to be going from a 276 horsepower RB26 to a 500 horsepower build. Pretend that one's an RB26. <laughs> there are going to be a few things on the motor that we are going to be doing, such as doing a lot of upgrades on the accessories, as you guys know. Again, the water pump, oil pump. Um, we're going to be deleting the ITBs and just running one throttle body. It's going to have better airflow, as well as upgrading the turbo or turbos. We haven't exactly decided on what it's going to be. If you guys legitimately have experience with driving a twin versus a single RB26, please comment below and let us know. So aside from that, the turbos, you know, upgrading a lot of the accessories for better air, water, oil flow, and a tune, that should give us the extra, like, 224 horsepower that we are looking for in order to make this 276 horsepower build into a 500. Ish. Also have to be upgrading the EMS system. Um, we have that epexy, but it's like blown. We might do like an Iztune or we might and that one's get like something what? standalone. An, an FC? Power FC. Yeah. It's an old Power FC. Yeah. I don't know if it's a MAP or MAF version. Not sure. We'll have to look into that. Uh, but so yeah, this is probably a MAF version. Again, although not a 26, just a really sick build that ours did back in the day for his. Um, we're kind of using this as a model to give you guys an idea of... We actually were actually going to use this over here as the example, but by the time we got here, they'd already put it in. Oh yeah, they're pushing work out here. We but, wanted to use this as an example. Look at how clean this build is. He, he had a GT40 and he wants to go smaller. So that's GT35, why I, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. And then they're still running the ITBs on this one, but... Um, you just want to do it. A single manifold, right? There's so much complexity into this that, yeah. All right, how much? I want you to try to regurgitate what you just heard. <laughs> I, <hate>. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something about. Okay, no, I got one. Oh god, I got one. <laughs> what is the engine code for the green one? The engine code? Yeah. What were we calling it? The RB25. There you go. And what's one working on? RB26. She's single, guys. <laughs> So I have the new water pump here, the N1 water pump, and then I have the N1 oil pump here and the timing belt. Pulleys. The pulleys are there. What I'm going to do is polish the old gasket away to kind of make the surface area clean for the new gasket, um, RTV really. And first I'm going to start by removing the tension and idler pulley and then install the new accessories and timing. And yeah, okay, let me set you guys up. Comment below if you guys know what time it is.
after being polished a bit. Looking a lot better. So there's a regular gasket we have for the oil pump, then RTV will be using for water pump. Give me the stud. Which one's water pump, which one's oil pump? We didn't go over this yet. I just said it to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> Paying attention. If I had to take a wild you guess. You got a 50-50 shot, dude. <laughs> water. Yeah. Oh, I knew it. Now which one's oil pump? That one. Yeah. You guys, I just, I've known this, but seeing it today is kind of like a aha moment. But the reason that RB26s, I believe in the R32s, were having the oiling issues is because right here you can see the contact point of where it scored a little bit. Doesn't actually make full contact on the OEM oil pump. So it kind of, it just takes that, that one turn at like 8K to just skip it and spin it and then kaput. So long story short, there's a quick hesitation about whether, you see this play, it's like pushed hard down hard. Um, and there is a question whether or not that the seal will be pressed flush against, I mean the oil pump will be pl uh, pressed flush against the block. The seal's kind of in the way right now, but as we tighten the bolts, that should in theory um, seal correctly. And then also that we are only using the, the gasket on the oil pump, we will be using RTV on the water pump and on the bottom of the oil pump when we go to, to put the pan up and then also RTV on the nubs in the back of the valve covers, but we're not there yet. So that was a little bit of a hesitation, but we're good now. I'm not sure what the torque specs are quite yet, so I'm just gonna finger tight some of these and then go back. Good for you. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so the spring actually came out of the seal, but we were, Andy was able to put it back. Thank God, because I wasn't able to. So I'm just gonna re-grease it with a summary lube and put it back on and then the water pump is ready to go and working on cars takes a while, but it's okay. Little things happen. Okay. And okay, we're moving. <laughs> Yay! No. No. All right. So I don't. I don't have the oil pump right now to show you guys what's happening. But I almost feel like the seal is too small because whenever it pushes up against the crank here, it like it opens up and then the spring pops through instead of just slipping over. So then there's a tight seal. Let me explain what's going on. Pulled off the oil pump now for the fourth time because the seal just isn't seating correctly. Looked at the part number on this oil pump versus the gasket kit and the oil pump seals are true for part numbers, but the crank is the same uh, versus an RB26 or a 25. So there should be no reason why the different part number should change anything. Maybe I'm just an idiot and you guys are watching this like, why don't you know this? What are you doing? I'm thinking what we're gonna have to do is install the oil pump without the seal and then press the seal in afterwards. Sean's checking the factory service manual. I just got a little chilly too, so I'll put a jacket on. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and install the oil pump without the seal. We'll press the seal in Afterwards, another time, maybe Sean will just do that. Maybe Sean will. <laughs> uh, it's so much easier without the seal. <laughs> Got him. So it's torqued tonight between 10 and 12 uh, Newton meters. Don't ask me what that is in foot pounds. All 
cool. Looks good. Look, yeah, because it's on. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good on. Is the water pump ready? Almost. It was ready, but then I wanted to put the stud that it originally came with on just because out of principle. I'm gonna go ahead and put the water pump on first before I actually do the tensioner, the tensioner and idler pulley. So we're going to put some RTV on it now. Look at this stuff, look how official this is. This is still the Nissan water. Motor Co. Can you read any of that? No, that's why it's official. Sweet. <laughs> I checked the service factory manual and just to confirm the oil pump, the seal does need to be pressed in according to the service manual. So it's really odd that the seal came already inside and not just separate, you know, but whatever, teach their own. Checking the service manual, I'm going to lay a thin bead, about two to three millimeters <laughs> going around the water pump. And there is a very specific tightening order to follow too. You're doing honestly so much better than I would have done on this. It's really hard to squeeze though. All right, I have the RTV on. I hope I did an okay job. I did a pretty clean bead going all the way around. I kind of like didn't go around the bolt holes, but I put a couple extra dots there. I might add a little more there, but aside from that, I think it's looking all right. You, you putting the seal on right now? You torque this already? No. No, they're just finger tight. Okay. Cool, so while that's happening, I just finished that. When they're done putting the seal in, I'm gonna get the okay, because it's not my motor, and then Install the water pump, do the pulleys, the belt, almost there. Ask me about my water pump. Look at that seal. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good, it's clean, it's clean. Sean removed the compressor and the bracket so that this would be easier to get to and to torque and I wish this was done a lot sooner. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Uh, what the, 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 the. Um, yeah, do you want to take a look at the service manual and guide me through the pattern of these? Yes. Cool. Yeah, so you go, here's the pattern. One, two, three, four, five, and then around eight Newton meters. Foot pass all the time. No, it doesn't. They are torqued perfectly in their correct pattern. Uh, little guy was eight newton meters. The 14 mils were 40, and then the 12s were 20. But it looks perfect. I really feel like that was the perfect amount of RTV on the backside, and. Very happy with this. Going to now install the, the pulleys and put the timing belt on. This is coming out nicely. Making some progress. It's looking pretty good. I'll just need now to torque the pulleys and put the timing belt on.
die. If it dies, I love you guys. Bye. And if it doesn't, I am actually going to close off by doing a full rotation with the timing belt in order to set the tensioner. Okay guys, that is the final water pump, oil pump, tensioner pulley, idler pulley, timing belt. That is basically the front dressings on the RB26. Next, hopefully we should be talking turbos. But next, I will actually be dropping the motor in the Subaru, so you will not want to miss that video. It will be out Saturday while I am in Detroit. Again, I'm so sorry I'm not able to do a meet and greet, but I sincerely hope I run into some of you guys on there. Say what up. Um, but with that being said, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching, E-Crew. I love you. We out here. Bye. <laughs>